Okay, second attempt at this. This video, in theory, is already finished, from recording, editing, to the final upload. But rewatching it, I came to the conclusion that my message, the idea behind it, creating a brand new fall squeezer gear, didn't quite shine through. So this time, I'll be giving you way more insight into the project. Starting off, why another build when you already have two? There are multiple reasons to it. I enjoy having variety and different options to pick from in order to have answers to specific matchups, maps and modes. And secondly, I have the resources to test around, probably more than most others. So I'll use that to show off as much things as I can, so you can then decide which strats, gears or whatever best fits you, without having to go through all the testing by yourself, potentially wasting both resources and valuable time. Enough intro now, let's get to the work. The first fall squeezer build I came up with is a well-rounded basic set able to be played pretty much everywhere, as it offers movement boost, paint support and special output, fairly evenly spread. The second creation came sometime later, more experience on the weapon included, betting on the offensive capabilities of the Fall Squeezer, making use of the unpopular Haunt ability. For our newest addition to the roster, I wanted to move back to the roots of the bottle, in Splatoon 2. I intended to take the core idea of the bubble blower, playing closely with a special weapon to gain important space control and oppress your opponents in their place. So this is the foundation of our third gear, also featuring the coral wreath. The base idea is keeping the mobility boost from before, implementing at least one main of both swim and run speed, paired with some more special power investment which gives us more range to throw the splatter color screen, as well as it moving faster. The remaining empty slots can be used in a number of ways, but these two ideas were the first that came to my mind. And now the only part missing from the unreleased, unofficial first version of this video is the coral wreath actually turning out perfect. We have all the abilities that we wanted on this. So now the plan for this video is pretty simple. I'll just play serious until I level up all the slots on both the shirt and the shoes. And we'll just see what we'll get. Maybe we're lucky and otherwise I'll just keep the grind going off cam and keep you updated how I feel, which version I end up using or maybe I get a completely different idea what to do with the remaining two slots, or I shuffle around um, the preset core as well, but I'll just see and I'll let you know. And if you don't wanna miss out, if you wanna keep being updated, if you want the freshest news, the hottest update, everything around the Squeezer, make sure you're joining the Squeezer Society by leaving a sub, like the video, if you enjoy, and I'm happily welcoming every one of you, 2024, remember, our year to shine. Not my best performance, but we win. And let's see. It's okay, it's okay. Oh no! <laughs> Question is... Are we resetting now? Or go for the final slot? Mm. I think just to save money, <laughs> I'll keep going. <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> Triple dually comp. Let's 
salt stolen out or try or try. I'm just saying. Lodge not helping out. I need help. All done. Yeah, let them get win. Let them just win. It's okay. I wish we had four players. Needs to be our moment. On, I gave you a chance. <sighs> we could have just went the right way in this city. Thank you. 
I don't care about the trades. I really don't care. Gonna paint that back, otherwise they just can re-grab it. Bullshit, bro. This Clash player is the reason why everyone hates ranked. Their gear is trash. I don't know what they're doing. They don't know either. Yet they make it to S plus and therefore also unlock S plus. Isn't that great? Be fast, come on, 41 is no record. Um. Here we go, what do we get? <laughs> oh, we definitely gotta do something about that gear. We got pretty much nothing we wanted. 